No one really knows what to do when patients with ADHD use marijuana, and this study aimed to give us some guidance. They randomized a small group, just 28 patients with ADHD and also cannabis use disorder, to either take placebo or high-dose amphetamine. By high dose, I mean 80 milligrams a day of Adderall XR. They tested these for three months and then looked at whether the stimulant improved the ADHD symptoms and whether it helped the patients come off the weed. Despite the high dose, the amphetamine made no difference in ADHD symptoms or cannabis use. Now, there's some problems here. This study was small and it was also hindered by a high dropout rate but its message is the same as an earlier and much larger trial of methylphenidate in 303 teens. Again, no difference in ADHD symptoms or cannabis use with the stimulant treatment. Two trials of atomoxetine, Stratera, also arrived at the same dismal conclusion. Now, the data here is not definitive enough to say that ADHD medications cannot help when marijuana is on board. And they don't tell us if there's any kind of threshold effect, like how much marijuana do you need to use to actually block the benefits of a stimulant. But we can at least say there is no evidence that ADHD meds help people who are using marijuana. And pairing that with other studies that show marijuana interferes with executive functioning and causes symptoms of ADHD, we have reason to believe that there is a real interaction, a real problem going on here. Whether or not you decide to prescribe ADHD meds, stimulants or non-stimulants in people who are using marijuana is gonna depend on the patient and your own risk tolerance. But you do need to inform these patients that the treatment is not likely to work as long as they are smoking. And that may be news to them, because we know from surveys that most patients believe marijuana helps their ADHD in spite of these other controlled trials showing that marijuana makes ADHD symptoms worse. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel and head on over to thecarlatreport.com and consider subscribing to our newsletter, which brings you unbiased news about all things psychiatric with useful clinical updates, expert interviews, and bottom line assessments of the latest research studies. Thanks for watching.